guys how's it going <laughs> welcome to my channel um for those of you new here my name is donna and for those of you not new uh, thank you so much for continuing to come back support my channel i appreciate all of you so so very much today i am doing my june haul and beauty budget <laughs> review right <laughs> yes <laughs> and you guys just like you know, last month, there's not a whole lot to share with you. I don't know. I've just got this like crazy like idea that I don't need to be out there shopping right now. And I, it's not that I don't have the money to spend because I definitely have the money to spend and I budget for it every single month. And I know last month I said I was going to come at you and probably have some Cleona Cosmetics shadows. That didn't pan out. I didn't do that. So there's that story but I did I did get something and I'll go over that with you in just one second but if you guys are unfamiliar every month I come to you and instead of doing haul videos all throughout the month because I found that that was silly and I don't want to try and capitalize on you know always spending money or having people think that I'm always spending money I don't I don't want people to feel like they need to always go out and spend money to be a part of this platform but I also don't want them to think that I'm always going out and spending money and that's why I'm here I do this because I love it I do it because I I just want to share my love for makeup with all of you late last year I decided that I was only going to do one haul video a month and um, just show you everything that I hauled in in that one video and that's what this video is. But in addition to that, I created for the year 2020 a beauty budget in which I don't want to spend more than $1,800 in the year on makeup. That being said, I in the past, and you, there are Sephora videos to prove it, have spent well over that in a year because not only was I spending enough to hit Rouge at Sephora but I'm also Diamond at Ulta and then that's not including everything else that I'm out there spending that isn't part of a points program, isn't part of a perks program, it is like through the individual websites or through my friends that are somewhere else and I can send them money and they can buy me stuff, right? So I was spending so much money on makeup. So and I have so much that it's sometimes overwhelming. It's a lot overwhelming often. So I put, gave myself a beauty budget, no more than $1,800 here, which for this year, which really like when you drill it down is $150 a month. And that's a pretty large budget. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big budget for a lot of people. That's too much for me. It falls right in line with my play money for myself what I'm allowing myself within my play money for beauty purchases. It doesn't include clothing. It doesn't include things like shoes or nail care because I don't do those things. But also like shoes I need to have. There were some things on the list that I could not purchase at all <laughs> during this year. Some of those things were bras, skincare because I have a ton of skincare, things like eyeliners because I have a ton of eyeliners and because I continue to get eyeliners in my subscription boxes, mascaras because I have a ton, like there were no buy parts within that realm, right? Just because, you know, we're going through the June haul, I wanted to refresh everybody's memories and my own <laughs> on what my beauty budget was. It's $150 per month and within that $150 I can roll over anything I didn't spend out of that month into the next but I cannot borrow from a future month to pad this month's spend. Everything like my Ipsy subscription if I decide to re-up it will count towards that month's budget spend. So I have to make sure that I have enough in my September budget when the time comes to afford my Ipsy rollover subscription if I decide to do that, which is just the glam bag, the original glam bag. And I pay for the bigger box, the $25 a month box, I pay for that monthly. So that one comes out of my beauty budget every month, whereas the subscription for the glam bag, the original one, only comes out of my beauty budget once a year. Clothing, hair care, getting my hair, skin, or brows done in the salon, 
nail care perfume do not count they're not a problem area for me makeup is the problem area makeup and jewelry those are the problem areas those are what count against my beauty budget everything that i bring into my beauty room as far as like organizational tools or anything like that that all counts against it so with that being said we rolled in to june with 227 dollars on the books which means you know over the last several months i really haven't been spending a whole lot of money on makeup i have taken part in an ipsy flash sale where i got two palettes and some brushes and um some lipsticks for like 26 bucks for both both sets or like 30 something like that i don't know it was some crazy crazy low amount of money got both of the palettes and everything that they came with for less than one one palette would cost me so like i've taken part in that but other than that like ipsy <laughs> over the last couple months has really been my only spend last month i had ipsy and my mark jacobs purchase but i also had 323 dollars to spend going into that month so I still ended up coming out of that month with $77 to add to my $150 budget, equaling $227 to spend this month. This month I purchased my Ipsy, which was $25, and you guys saw that unboxing. I'll link it up in the cards for you. You should have seen that unboxing last week, maybe the week before. I can't remember when this video is going up, but... I got some really good stuff out of that. I'm not going to rehash everything I got out of that. In addition to Ipsy, I also made a purchase and I made a purchase to Mac. So Mac was doing a seven products for $63. Some of you have taken part in the Tarte like makeup bag create your own makeup kit that Tarte has done for the same price and it is seven full size items but you don't really get to pick more than one item in a certain category if you want it which is sad like you shouldn't have to pick I hate Tarte mascaras hate them so I don't want a Tarte mascara that's one of their categories I also am not a fan of Tarte foundations but that's also one of the categories so right there that wipes two of the categories out of what I want to purchase from Tarte so I didn't take part in the Tarte create your own kit this last this last time it went up but I did take part in the Mac one because Mac had the same thing going on buy seven full-size items and get them for $63 same price as Tarte only you got to pick whatever you wanted like they just had a list of items and you just pick seven items from those items so you could get multiple things in one category if you wanted to or like seven things from seven different categories if you wanted to I didn't pick any mascaras I have a, a certain love and affinity for a couple of mascaras um so I did not and I've tried a Mac mascara that I didn't like actually but I did open this box to make sure everything came in safely, but this is my MAC product, so I'm going to go over it with you. You open up the box, and it does have just this black like tissue paper on top, and these are all my MAC products in there, and I'm excited for what I picked up. I don't have a whole lot of MAC in my collection, if I'm honest with you, and I don't really... I don't know why I think initially it was uh, the cruelty free thing because Mac is not a cruelty free brand I think that was initially it in my position I am a partner to Mac and I thought it was best that I try and get more fluent in their product line and speak to it in a better way so I did take it upon myself to purchase some products that I don't really have a whole lot of knowledge of. I do have two MAC products in my collection, but I don't have a whole lot of MAC presence in my collection. I have tried a mascara by them and I didn't like it. It was the Bold and Bad or Bad and Bold mascara with the large mascara wand and then the smaller mascara wand for your lower lash line. I, I didn't really like it. Not my favorite mascara. I do have two MAC products in my collection that I absolutely love, but those are really the only two 
one of which is a mineralized skin finish in Stereo Rose. It's a limited edition blush. It is a beautiful blush. And then I also have a mineralized skin finish in Soft and Gentle, which is a beautiful highlighter that I used to wear as an all over face powder <laughs> at one point in time because I didn't know it was a highlighter. So there's that. And I love it as well. But th that is the whole overall presence of MAC in my collection. So I thought I needed to jump on this seven full size products for $63 deal at MAC. And this is what I bought. The first product that I will talk about is this. This is the first one that I knew I was going to pick up was a new MAC Prep and Prime uh, Fix Plus. And this is a really great setting spray, but I utilize it most for foiling shadows. It also does an amazing job at foiling shadows. I purchased it in Coconut. It is my favorite of the Max Fix Plus, Mac Fix Plus, oh my gosh, such a tongue twister. Um, I'm super excited to have it back in my life. I haven't had a Fix Plus in forever, so there's that. The next product I got was this. It is a MAC Mineralized Blush, and this one is in the shade Warm Soul. So I just kind of really love their packaging. Nice and sleek and black, and this is what the blush looks like. It looks a little shiny in there. I'm wondering if it is like a shimmer. Oh. That was a lot easier to open than it seemed. So this is why it's shiny. There is a nice little um, like bubble protector guy because this is like baked. There are, it's domed like a baked blush. So I think it's probably baked, but it is in warm sole. It's just a blush and it is so, so pretty. I'm gonna swatch that real quickly. Ooh, that's a lot pinker than I thought it was going to be, but it's still a really nice, like almost natural blush, which I think is really pretty. So I am stoked about that. So item number three that I picked up was this, and it is a MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I have heard amazing things about this product, so I am all for checking it out. It is just a lip primer to make sure that your lipstick goes on amazingly. What I love about this packaging is it's that black and kind of sparkly packaging, which is really cool. I cannot wait to try that. The packaging is black, but it's got like green fleck in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope that you can. I can see it on the monitor, so I hope that you can. I love the packaging. This one is just like matte and glossy black there's no like fleck in it but this also has that like green yes green fleck in it so pretty all right this is a mac bronzing powder i've never tried their bronzers and this is in just matte bronze is what the shade says i think there was two shades of this when i got there this is what the packaging looks like. It looks quite different than the blush one. It doesn't have like that window into the sole. <laughs> um, this is the bronzer. That looks really dark. I maybe should have gotten a lighter one, but um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's not too, too bad. It's a little yellow for my taste. It's a little um, warm. I guess I should say not yellow might work out well and this is actually an area in my collection that hasn't seen a lot of love so I don't have a whole lot of bronzers uh, and then I also got this I've never ever tried a MAC foundation I don't even know how to color match myself and you know if I'm honest I went on to the Ulta website and used the glam lab that is part of the app to try and match myself as best I could. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in, ooh, that looks really light, NC15. This, <laughs> this looks so light, but this is the color that I was matched to. I was matched to NC15, and, but isn't C cool? 
I don't think I'm a cool tone. I think I'm warm. This might be a problem, but I'm going to try it. We'll see. And I do think that I have enough to, like when I purchased the Marc Jacobs stuff, I did concentrate fully on trying to get a full face of Marc Jacobs stuff. And that video will be coming soon. I also did that with Mac. So we will see. One thing that's going to be the saving grace for this foundation being too light might be this little helper here. This is the Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette in Mid Yellow, Mid Peach, and NC30, NW25, NC35, and NW35. <laughs> so this might help me out. It is in the medium tones, obviously. And this is what it looks like. I love that its cover is just clear so you can see what you've got. I don't have a whole lot of corrector palettes, but this will help me, um, I think, deepen up <laughs> that, that foundation if it's too light, which I feel like it is. So I'm actually excited for this. I have heard really great things about these little corrector palettes of theirs too. On the website, it did look quite a bit bigger than this, but I, I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's not going to take up a whole lot of space. And then my last full-size product that I bought with this little deal that they had going on here, of course, I could not pass up a nice highlighter, right? I didn't buy any eye stuff, which is odd for me, but I do know that I've got way too many palettes. My problem areas are eyes and highlight and I didn't buy anything eyes but I couldn't pass up a nice highlight so I got a highlight um this is the MAC extra dimension skin finish in double gleam and I am so excited to see what this looks like um soft and gentle that I have is a beautiful highlight but it's very much a almost like natural like ambient lighting kind of highlight again I did use that as a full-on face powder for the longest time when I first got it because I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> or what it was but this is the highlight that is so pretty just in the pan so let's try it on my skin wow so that is <laughs> look at that holy cow that is blinding so for those of you who have been around on my channel for a long time, you know that I've always wanted to be that see me from the moon highlight kind of girl, but I never have highlighters that do that for me. Maybe, maybe this guy. Um, in addition to that, I did get a free sample of the Studio Fix Powder Plus foundation, and this is in the shade NC30. I don't know why NC. Is MAC backwards did I pull the did I pick the wrong this looks like warm this looks very warm it comes with a nice little poofy guy and then the powder foundation so this is just a little tiny guy and I'm excited for it because it'll go into my drawers of makeup for sometime soon some use on that simply samples series so with that being said that is what I picked up in the month of June is just that stuff from Mac it did cost me $63 and that means my total spend in June was $88 of the 227 that I had to spend so rolling over into July I have $139 so I've almost got double what my budget is again in July and that means I have $289 to spend this month I do know that I don't think that that's going to happen, only because I keep saying I'm going to get some clean out of shadows, but then really when it comes to pulling the trigger and purchasing them, I'm like, nope, can't do it. Like, I don't know why. Isn't that silly? With that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. What did you purchase in June? Did you go to the stores and purchase or did you, you know, do some shopping online? Are you finding your, your calm and your peace without having to spend money? You know, I'm actually finding that when I am looking around on the websites, like there's just not much that I can 
bring into my collection these days that I find a whole lot of excitement about. So it really has to grab my attention. I'll tell you one thing that has grabbed my attention is that Natasha Denona bronze palette, or is it called bronze? I think it's called bronze. Um, the new Natasha Denona palette, but Natasha Denona, she's my girl. I still don't have the love palette. So if I purchase the bronze palette, I have it in my head that I also need to purchase the love palette. I need, I need to get over that thought process. She also came out with a, a bronzer quad, again, bronzer and um, highlight quad. And I already have a bronzer and highlight quad from her. So I don't really think I need that new one, but I do need the new eyeshadow palette. I do. But she's someone I stand, so I I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy that. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy both of those palettes. Even if I bought both of those palettes, it wouldn't be as much as I have left. So there's that too. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and your time with me. I hope that if you did, you're considering giving a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels out here. You can also thumbs it down. Of course, it is your right. And if you didn't like this video, that is totally cool. Either way, it's engagement for me and I'm on board. I do hope that you did enjoy it though. And I hope that you enjoyed it or me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. I do upload content three to four times a week. So if you subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will notify you every single time I upload a video. And because I upload you know, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but then also every other Sunday, I wouldn't want you to miss every, anything. And that bell is going to assure that you don't, that you're notified every single time. So please hit the bell. Please consider subscribing to my channel before you go. Don't forget a big thumbs up or thumbs down, what, whichever. And uh, be kind to each other out there. Love each other from afar. Just love each other. Be safe. Wear your mask if you're in Washington and it's mandated or anywhere else in the world and it's mandated. Just do it. It's not that hard. And like, let's just be safe. Thank you so, so much for joining me today, you guys. And until next time, bye guys. Bye.